so today I'm talking about a P0156 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0156 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit, bank two sensor two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P0156 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank two sensor two O2 sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine is going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that is bank two. So if you Google like your cylinder location or firing order or something like that for your specific engine, since there is differences and you locate the number one cylinder, that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0156 code? Well, the most common things that's going to cause this is either that bank two sensor two O2 sensor that has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And so there's going to be some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. Sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And the sensor to go and locate for this P0156 code is going to be this bank two sensor two O2 sensor. And so you can go and test that sensor and check to see if it's good. There are some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has live data or data stream, you can use it to go and test these sensors. For example, on this scan tool, all the O2 sensors have been selected. Here's bank one, sensor one, sensor two, bank two, sensor one, and bank two, sensor two. Sensor one is located before the catalytic converter, and it's going to be reading some oxygen content that's coming out of the engine. So it's going to move in an up and down pattern like this. The voltage is going to go up and down, up and down. So this is correct. But sensor two or the downstream O2 sensor that's after the catalytic converter, it shouldn't be reading any oxygen. And so it should be flat like this. And if it's not, then there's some kind of problem with it. There's some kind of issue. There's some good videos on how you go about testing these sensors with the scan tool. So I've made videos on that. I'll put a link down below in the description box if you want to check that out. But basically the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank two sensor two O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. If there's any kind of issue inside the wiring, there's like an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, a bad relay, anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. There can be different types of sensors. There could be two wire sensors, three wire sensors, four wire sensors. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's a good idea to get a diagram of the wiring to know for sure what's going on with it. These four wire sensors are fairly common. And basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two parts to them. There's going to be the oxygen sensor part that's detecting how much oxygen there is in the exhaust, but they also have these heater elements built in. And basically that oxygen sensor, it can't start getting good readings until it heats up. And so that the computer doesn't have to wait for the engine to warm up and the exhaust to warm up and all of this before the sensor can get good readings. They built in these heater elements to help it quickly warm up. These heater elements usually have 12 volts going to them. Again, be sure to get diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But usually they have 12 volts going to them when the engine cold starts until it warms up. So like for the first minute or so, they'll have 12 volts going to them. They're also going to be on a fuse and a relay. And then there's going to be two wires going to the oxygen sensor part that's going back to the computer. So basically, if you get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle, you could go and check the wiring to be sure that there's no open or short or anything like this. It's also going to be a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses. Again, you will have to do some research on your particular vehicle to know which fuse or possible relay that it's on. But for example, this is a Toyota and right here where it's labeled A up heater. That's going to be for the fuse going to that heater element. And then over here, it's labeled A up heater. That's going to be the relay that's going to that heater element. So it's a good idea to go check for any blown fuses and possibly a bad relay because the most common things that's going to cause this is either a bad bank two sensor two O2 sensor or the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0156 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.